Hello everyone and welcome to the fan game part 2 for Let's Play Supremacy 1914. So it is like, um, it's day 3, so let's check the Daily European. Let's see, uh, trade, my funny little comment on someone else's funny little comment. But more importantly, the whole war and everyone dying. Uh, this map's going down pretty fast. Ukraine and Russia are at the war. Uh, Russia and Prem is at war. Well, Russia's got it down. Uh, Italy and Belgium, North Canada, Newfoundland, everyone's at war. A lot of people. French West Africa and Egypt. Oh wow, Ukraine and the Caucasus. Norway and S Denmark and Sweden. Greece and Serbia. Russia and L Russia and L Livovina. Um, Russia seems to be kind of going fast. And French West Africa and West Algeria are all at the war. So let's take a look at the map. Let's see, Egypt's taken... Voodoo Kwan <laughs> of French West Africa. Um, and that seems to be it for Africa. And up here, let's see. Oh, uh, Canada's, North, Northern Canada's taken Newfoundland. And meanwhile, down here in Europe, um, Italy has taken parts of Belgium. Germany has taken parts of Belgium. Sweden's invading Denmark. Uh, Russia is invading three different people all at the same time. I hope that goes well for him. Uh, Georgia, or the Caucasus, are taking Ukraine. And Greece is taking Serbia along with uh, Romania. He actually didn't lose a single man in that war. That's pretty nice for him. Good for him. Now, uh, let's check my eight trade offers. I, I'm going to be honest. I can't be friends with all of you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But... Greece is right here, and he's my he's my current neighbor, and I need to uh, protect my borders, so I'm going to accept one from him. And uh, for Italy and um, Italy and Egypt, I will send them. So we're map buddies because you accidentally sent them without me having to trade with you. So I'm gonna go to Egypt first, and let's find Egypt. I think he's below me. It's my good friend, Die Boy. Yeah, there he is. Alright. Oh, okay. That's cool. And, um... And then there's Italy. Which I'll find soon enough. I'm I'm sorry this takes a while. I hate this. Oh, there he is. Alrighty. Boom. There we go. Alright, so let's look at my map and my current situation. Greece is right here, and he's only got two men along my border, and it, and uh, Egypt seems to be moving his troops along to his other border. Which is why I was able to move troops away from my Egyptian border and focus over in this lovely country of Syria. Now, due to the fact that Syria is currently right shooting their pro pro protesters, I will invade them. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, I'm trying to bring world news into life, but that's always a stupid idea. So... Let's invade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to invade uh, Palmyra and Tel Aifir right now and save Damascus for later in Beirut. So I'm going to send this 37,000 to take this one. Yes, undeclared war. And these guys... Normally you don't want to take an undeclared war, but I don't currently give a crap. And then I'm going to send these guys to wherever he attacks. Normally you don't want to do this my way, but because I have nothing else to do, I'm going to be at home for like two days. So, yeah. Also, guys, what's going to happen, because I know it's like everyone can see each other's troops if they watch these videos, so I'm going to upload them like a week or maybe half a week after they happen, just to make it so my allies don't have to worry about their troops being shown where, like, where they are. And oh boy, it looks like Romania is going to attack Greece. Yeah, that's 72,000 men. Yikes. Hmm. And um, also, the Ottoman Empire's got only 2,000 here, which means he's moved them somewhere else, which is good for me. I also have a spy in Halil, which is the uh, bordering province, or Halib, which is the bordering province to Syria, to see if he's got troops there. Alright, so um, thank you for watching part two. And, uh, oh yeah, as we can see, I've got some forts, and I'm building, I'm building a barracks somewhere. Yeah, right there. And, um, 
Let's see, I should probably build... No, I shouldn't build any more forts, because forts are expensive for me. Because I'm not gaining much iron or wood. But that's one of the reasons why I'm invading Syria, is because he's got the iron and wood. And then grain's always good, and so is fish. So those are four things that I need, because you always need grain, because you always need more troops, which uh, you built from barracks. So, take care, I'm Commissar Tom, and I will see you in part three, which is probably going to be in like half a week. Alright, bye-bye guys, take care.